Hey everyone, Bella here. Today we're diving into three unique strategies for supercharging your Zazzle product research. These are the secret weapons I use daily to stay ahead of the game. So let's get started. First things first, I've got to give you the inside scoop on these strategies. They're my trusty go-to methods for tackling product research on Zazzle. I've designed each one to handle different situations and challenges I encounter during my research journey. Let's kick things off with strategy number one. This one comes in handy when I'm not quite sure where to begin. Here's a quick breakdown. Find pro-level sellers. Take a peek into their store. Identify their top selling products. List those gems on a spreadsheet for inspiration. Let's see it in action. First thing first, let's find some pro-level sellers. I start by typing Halloween into the search bar. My goal here is to discover successful stores and learn from them. So I keep my search broad and generic. After a quick wait, the extension loads up the data. Now I can see details for each listing on the page. To find top tier stores, I filter for diamond sellers. These are the cream of the crop. Awesome designs pop up right away. I'm going to apply some more filters, like sorting by total views. I'm really liking the design of one product, so I click into the store to explore further. I need to get to the product tab to see the juicy details. Once the extension is done loading, I get a snapshot of the store, including the badge and the number of products and categories. It's like a backstage pass. I can also see all the data for each listing. Next, I'll filter the listings by the Halloween category. This is where the good stuff is. After reloading the page, I can see all these beautifully sorted products. I'll open a spreadsheet and save these links for inspiration. Without copying or violating any copyright, of course. Then I can repeat this process for a few more stores, and I will get a good list to follow. Strategy number two comes into play when I have a design idea, but need inspiration on how to execute it. Here's the drill. Search for products related to your design. Find products with great reviews. Filter for high-level sellers. To demonstrate, let's say I have an idea for a butterfly-themed birthday invitation card, but I'm not sure how to execute it. I start by typing butterfly birthday invitation card and hit enter. I can see some beautiful designs, but I'm after not just beauty, but sales. Great reviews often indicate successful products, so I sort the results by rating. Now I can spot products with both eye-catching designs and good sales. I copy and paste these product links into another spreadsheet for future reference. Now, for our final strategy, it's all about letting keywords take the wheel. Here's how I go about it. Identify high search volume keywords suggested by Zazzle. Discover the most used keywords in listings. List them in a notepad. Build SEO-friendly listings around them. Starting with a Christmas search, I notice suggested keywords from Zazzle, along with their individual search results. To infiltrate a less competitive market, I target keywords with lower search results. For instance, Christmas stocking looks promising. Clicking on it, I let the extension load more data. Products in the Christmas stocking niche are commonly associated with keywords like monogram, pet, and photo. To dive deeper, I sort the list by most monthly views, helping me identify products that consistently attract buyer attention. 
With a click, I can copy all these valuable keywords and paste them into a notepad for brainstorming. And there you have it, folks. Three powerful strategies to up your Zazzle research game. Thanks for joining me on this journey. And remember, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tips and tricks to level up your Zazzle game.